Good morning. Uh, we're going to continue with the second derivative of the uh, rational function summary of x cubed minus 4x squared over x squared minus x minus 12. I'm uh, probably going to keep this little statement up here that x cannot equal 4 for the original function because that's going to come in uh, important later. So here's the first derivative and our second derivative is of course again we have to use the quotient rule. We have the denominator times the derivative of the numerator which is uh, 2x plus 6 minus uh, the numerator uh, which is x squared plus 6x uh, times the derivative of the numerator, I mean the denominator, which is 2, bring the power chain rule, times x plus 3, and then uh, times the derivative of the inside, which is just 1, and that's all over x plus 3 uh, squared squared, so it's to the fourth. Um, I see that I have a common factor of x plus 3 on both sides of the uh, minus sign. So that will cancel that one and cancel that one and make that a three. That's a little sloppy. I would probably do that differently on a piece of paper, but I have limited space here. So uh, I don't think uh, I can factor out a two, okay? <laughs> and then I can expand uh, this and uh, leave this as is and simplify so I'll factor out a 2 that that helps hey you know whatever uh, this makes this if I factor out a 2 this makes this x plus 2 times uh, x plus 3 huh there's another x plus 3 there is that true guess it is um, anyway x plus 3 squared is x squared plus 6x plus 9 and then this 2 is gone it's right here uh, minus x squared minus 6x and yeah that's right wow slick uh, so <laughs> 3 cubed sorry uh, a nice little problem. Um, anyway, x squared minus x squared, 6x minus 6x, 2 times 9, and we get f double prime equals 18 over the quantity x plus 3 cubed. So uh, f double prime equals 0. Well, it never equals 0. The only thing to make this function equal 0 is 18 and uh, 18 never equals zero in the real number world and the uh, real mathematics, I think. Uh, maybe in like uh, modular arithmetic or something it might. <laughs> I don't know why I mentioned that. But anyway, um, <laughs> f double prime of x uh, is undefined or does not exist. Well, it's the same place it hasn't exist existed in the first derivative and in the original function and that implies that x equals negative 3 so uh, again the original function did not exist at, f at positive 4 so when we use the second derivative to determine concavity we're going to break up the number line not only with x equals negative 3 but where x equals 4 as well and I Honestly, since x equals negative 3 was undefined in the original function and 4 was undefined in the original function, there it won't yield uh, um, inflection points, nor will that value uh, x equals negative 3 yield uh, relative max or mins because the uh, function doesn't exist there. We'll find out in a minute uh, that there's a vertical asymptote. So anyway, on to the next video.